pallet trucks carrying boxes of pasta, granola bars, and bananas go whizzing through the warehouse at the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. It's a busy time of year for the charity. Hunger, while it's the holiday period, is a 365 day a year problem. President and CEO of the organization, Deborah Vizzi, knows that well. As a child growing up in various foster homes and shelters, she remembers what it feels like to be hungry. You know, what I can tell you is that feeling hungry made me feel ashamed because I was often staring at other kids who had things that I didn't. And um, it was the uh, sort of the catalyst for teasing, being the kid that didn't look like everybody else because perhaps I was unkempt or really hungry or really begging for food or, you know, really wanting to be somewhere because there was more of this or more of that. Vizzy's story is frighteningly common. One out of five kids in New Jersey is hungry. What we're seeing is that families are having difficulty making ends meet. So a child may have one meal a day or that meal may not be nutritious, or that meal may not have protein to carry them so that they're satiated and not feeling hungry. These children are considered food insecure. And as anyone who's gone too long without eating knows, that can impact a child's focus and behavior, and as a result, their education. The Community Food Bank of New Jersey operates as a large, well-oiled machine, distributing food to the local organizations that serve these children and others who are hungry, after-school programs, shelters, soup kitchens, pantries, and senior feeding programs. The food bank's main hillside location is roughly the size of five football fields. Among many other services here, donations are sorted and stored. Minister Tyrone South is stopping by to pick up an order for his church's food pantry. They're much happier now because before dealing with the food bank, we didn't do any meat. And that's what I'm here for today, actually, to pick up some meat for our pantry. Initially, we were spending um, so much. And once we got involved with the uh, food bank, it, it has dropped dramatically. On top of the donations of food the bank collects, Vizzy says the organization has the ability to purchase much differently than the average consumer. For every dollar that we receive, we can buy $10 worth of food. So she recommends monetary donations in addition to gifts of nutritious, non-perishable food items and volunteer time. Toolkits with more information on how to contribute to the cause are available online. And Vizzy says those who want to help this holiday season can spread the word and spread the love by hosting parties that guide guests toward charitable giving. In Hillside, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.